Yes, I do. Okay. And what is it that I just handed you? Um, this is my five-page crime scene report that I prepared um, at a later date after the crime scene processing of my findings um, that, that I had um, that I had, um, documented at the crime scene on November 30th. Okay. So that's already been admitted in the evidence. That's Exhibit 14. But so the jury's aware is that fairly um, accurately depicts what you observed and what you processed and collected that day. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, did you obtain a map to help you? With the processing of the scene? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I call uh, maybe a blueprint or a schematic of the overall uh, diagram of the entire school. Okay. And after you obtain that, do you, do you make notations on that? Yes. Uh, well, there was a couple of us that worked on the actual schematic of the location of the evidence and the victims within the high school. I'm going to show you. Hey, Coach, does that screen up? You may have to look at. I, I can see this. You can see that? Okay, great. That's okay. So I'm showing you what's going to do this. People's 15. Sir, do you recognize this? Yes, I do. And how so? Um, this is the schematic draw, um, drawing that was prepared um, by the school or some other agency as far as for the school layout. <laughs> Um, and then, once again, this is the, the schematic that was used to place the piece of evidence on where they were located within the school outside of classrooms and where the victims were located within the school. Okay. These, and these notations were made by lab uh, personnel? Yes, there was, um, there's, there's some by myself and there's also by um, Rob Charlton who works in the firearms unit that's also a crime scene investigator uh, with me. So what do these notations signify? Um, there's numbers that are circled 